Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are playing the Spaced Out DLC. We are on the LV426, whereupon we are bringing three, currently three different colonies into the future with us, trying to make ourselves as comfortable as possible. But we have a little bit of a problem. We do indeed have a little bit of an issue. I'm currently working towards our next tier of research. I want to try... Oh, I've just clicked something that's all gone. i, I got to find it. Here, this guy. I am working towards material science research. This is the last tier of research we need to open up before we can then go on and work on all the different types of research we have available to us. The problem is the only place that the novice research can be researched now that we have destroyed the research station that we had on our original planet over on Taranu does not have any dirt inside of it. And as you can see, it is currently claiming to have no dirt inside the entire area here. But I, I do not feel this is the truth. If I press F4 and come over to consume consumable ore. Uh, there, there's loads of, I mean, this is rust, no, not consumable ore, sorry, cultivatable soil. I know what I'm talking about. Look, there's, there's, there's dirt right there. And here's some more dirt. There's dirt everywhere. Let's just go around and dig a few of these bits up and see if we can't get ourselves flowing with the research. Look, look, look at how quick they're getting moving, but uh, I don't I don't think they're quite doing what I want them to be doing, are they? They're all got ignorance rock. That's great. Just, just, just for the one ladder crazy. Well, I kind of took a surprising amount of time for him to come along and actually do that, but, but as soon as he has dug the dirt, because we have got the priority set as we are, and Random Randomers is our top level scientist, he starts moving the materials up to so that he can start getting on with the research straight away. Beautiful. We're just going to wait for a few minutes for that to happen, but whilst we're doing that, let's come over to Sherubi. Sherubi is our latest asteroid. We've literally got this much done. Like, like this is it. This is how far we've come. I've got a few plans over here, and we did some pumping, but essentially, this is our base right here. And the thing that we worked on last time was this ethanol distillery over here. We uh, take all the wood that is uh, littering the map, if I come in here, these arbor trees, produce lumber. It's a bit hard to see them behind the phosphorus, but there, there it is. There is some lumber back there. Let me see if I can find a better looking one. I mean, they're all, they're all just kind of tucked behind stuff. That That's a bit of a shame. But there is lumber all over this map. That's what I'm trying to say. And the lumber gets put inside these ethanol distilleries. It turns out that uh, it's quite low on the list of priorities. So once everything's been swept up, maybe it will go into there. Uh, and then the ethanol is produced and pumped into this petroleum generator. Now, this petroleum generator will just burn the ethanol no matter what is going on. But I think we can improve the situation here somewhat just by doing something like this. I want to get ourselves a bit more of a, uh, a little container unit on the way here. Oh, look. Research complete. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, yeah, that's exactly the next thing that we're going to be moving on to. Look how quick that happened. Just had to dig a little bit out. That That's great. That's great. Uh, also... I have been shamed in the comments. Uh, Arat, I, you, you are a genius, my friend. Uh, I was having a bit of problems last time. I was like, oh no, we've run out of sand. This means we can't uh, do things like sieve our water or uh, filter the air. Where, where, where is it here? Filter the air. Uh, and so we ended up digging down for some very radioactive regolith. And we were like, oh no, where are we going to get more sand from? But of course... But, of course, we come down, uh, I'm going to take a guess into the refinement rather than utilities. The refinement, we've got the rock crusher. One of the things the rock crusher can do is crush rocks into sand. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, 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 the printing pod has just ticked over. Let's see what we've got. Swamp char, hexalun. I think we're going to take the hexalun for now. I don't need a doctor or a digger, and I don't need a supplier. I'm really looking for an artist. If we're, we're going to take any uh, duplicates at all, we're going to get a an artist. Uh, I mean, at 12,000 calories. Let's see who's... Uh, let's see which rock is suffering the most. 14,000, 61,000, 46,000. Okay, well, it's obviously Sherubi, because right here, right now, they're kind of surviving almost entirely on mush fry. Uh, that's not the that's not the food source I'm about. Excellent fruit. Let's get let's get them well fed, shall we? Excellent. Let's put it put it in the fridge. Oh, we got some lumber going. Hick Hicks has grabbed some. He's going to bring it over here, and we are going to watch some ethanol be distilled. Okay, that's great. Whilst we're watching that happen, I want to come through into here and get a smart battery. I want to put a smart battery onto this system. We're going to get a little bit of uh, automation going between the two because at the moment, as I say, oh, let's not have gold. Let's. Uh, oh, we haven't got much aluminium. All right, let's have gold because at the moment, this is taking oh tiny, tiny packets, 500 gram packets of ethanol, and just instantly vaporizing them off into. 
power. I mean, that's good. That's that's great. Uh, I'd like to be burning a little bit more consistently, though. So we're going to see what's going on with the power system, and if the solar powers can't keep up, that's when we then turn this on. I would also like to get some sort of storage area going here, but we'll we'll wait and see if we can do that. A uh, liquid storage. Okay, I'll leave these few orders for these guys to do. They can sweep up, tidy everything over to this area, and we'll see what's going on in a little bit. But over on Tirano, this is kind of uh, not only our oil-producing area, still waiting for these slicks to uh, to hatch out about a third of the way there. Then they'll start eating all our carbon dioxide and producing oil for us. That's good. We need to get them also the other side of these lines. But, we'll, you know, we'll figure that out. Uh, what I'm actually here for is this indeed is our research centre right now. I don't like the fact that these are down here. I would like to move these two up here somewhere and then we could have our own little uh, weird research center where random randomers will just climb on up here and do stuff. I think this is going to work out well. The fact that the water is down here is a little bit troublesome. I wonder whether we could set this up here as a water drop off point. Um, but before we go too much on to town with that, let's try and figure out where we're going to move stuff. So I want the supercomputer. What do we miss it? We don't. Ah. Oh. What are we missing? Metal or metal ores? Oh no! We've got rust everywhere. I suppose we could dechlorinate the rust to get the iron ore. Look, there's some iron ore here, but we've got plenty of rust up here. We could, we could deal with this, right? Oh, look, here's a big old patch of iron ore. Let's do this instead. Of course, I will be getting the materials back when I've taken this supercomputer down. I just, I, I like to plan things out before I go ripping stuff down. Oh, oh, here we go. New stuff being brought in it means everything can be built again. Great. Wonderful. I'm not 100% about the validity of the statement I'm about to make, but I feel like some point during the development cycle of the DLC, they have buffed how much negative decor comes from heavy wat wires. You used to be able to run them through here, and as long as you had a few plants and a bit of stuff going on, you'd be fine to just kind of resist it. But th this is this is huge negatives all around. Maybe I was just completely blind to this effect in the past, but oh, it's, uh, it's causing me more troubles than it used to. Okay, a few new build orders. I'd like these to be built before before I go ahead and dig the whole lot out. Let's go back over to Sharubi, see how we're doing down here. This has been built, we've got the battery in place. Oh, this is looking good. Uh, let's mop that water up though. Yeah, no, this is looking really, really good. Okay, is it turning? No, this is enabled. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll just ease this down a couple of percent and ease this up a couple of percent. So, when this battery is below 10%, it will turn the petroleum generator on, and then when it reaches above 95, it will turn the petroleum generator back off. That should work out pretty well for keeping this uh, this supply going well for us. Though, of course, right now, no no trees are being delivered because two people are too busy sweeping. Okay, Hicks is making lumber deliveries, Burke is doing the cooking, and Captain Subs, Sir Doctor Captain Subs Esquire, the second no less, is going around making a whole bunch of deliveries. Looks like he's carrying uh, some polluted, oh no, some slime there for the food. Okay, food, very, very important. More importantly though, over to Tyrannu, let's see what's going on over here. These guys are not able to dig this area out, but still not done the, uh, the build across the top here. Let's have a look at what's going on with the priorities. Uh, I thought they were a little bit higher than that. Let's, uh, let's hit some sevens. Though that said, I, I do believe Randomers is on the build already. Beautiful. Be oh no, where's he going? Ah, oh, breaking some stuff. Okay, that's also good. So we've moved all of the research areas into the middle here, and I've started digging out a space for a new item. Yes, indeed, it is time to make use, stations, not furniture, of the new thing that we have made, the material study terminal. Uh, I've already put power in for it, but there is another thing that it needs. Uh, you can see it's got this weird little uh, circle thing on the side here. This is actually a target, a target for something that we find in the radiation tab here. Uh, in here, we have something called the Red Bolt Generator. What are Red Bolt? They're just little effects that travel around, but we'll talk about that in a second. I'm going to grab one of these, and you can see that immediately the green haze comes up that it says there is radiation in space. I'm not sure if you guys are aware of this, but there is radiation coming all the way down from the top of the map almost at all times. Wow, look at this. I didn't realize that. Hey, 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 hey. Let's uh, wait, wait a moment. Let's have a look here. Oh, look, 11 rads per cycle as opposed to the 25 above. What have I used that's granite does not block materials very well, turns out. But anyway, I'm up here. I'm going to go ahead and try and build myself a couple of these rad bolt generators. These just kind of make a thing from the from the 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 
radiation up here. I'm going to place two. We'll figure out how to power them in a second. And you can see that they've got the, the this sort of solar panel arrangement on one side and something that looks like maybe a, a, a ball with an eye on it the other. Let's let these guys go around and build some stuff and we'll, we'll see what it is at the end. Though whilst we're waiting for this, let's go over to Sharubi. I've had to break out the Rock Crusher. It's a thing that's really needed to happen. We've got Igneous Rock. I've set it to 99 because I'm a little bit worried about just chewing through all the Igneous Rock on this map and then having no building materials left. If we ask someone to just really please come along and do one of these right now. I need it right, right now. Burke's on the way. Okay, we'll turn it down because he is on it. How do I always manage to call this just as night time's being done? Okay, all right, let's uh, let's get Burke in there to do this. I also need someone to power it quickly. Go on, off, off you go, my friend, off you go. I just want to see where the sand lands. Uh, if we let this run a full cycle, I kind of didn't want Hicks to come over here and uh, deliver some more, but I think we can live with it. No, it's not dropped on the floor yet. Are we, are we fine? There was just a little reset of the animation there for no apparent reason. Burke is turning it over. Okay, are we gonna see it? No, okay. I guess I guess we'll just wait for tomorrow. Okay, he's coming and actually doing the job this time. We'll get a bit of sand. Did it, was that dropped right here? It looked like it was dropped. Yeah, right here. Okay, we're gonna pause and we're gonna grab out an automation. I want to drop down a weighted pressure plate. Can we do it right there? I Oh, no, it doesn't look like we can. Let's uh, deconstruct this tile first. I don't know whether it's because of the rock crusher or not. That's that's my big worry here. Okay, so we've got a weighted pressure plate. If below 10 kilograms, it will give out a signal. That means where there is nothing in here, it's like, yes, please, come along and do some work here. It looks like Fabricate Hicks is on that next, as long as he's gone around and done a few food, few, uh, food, a few food jobs first. Well, turns out that was a bit of a tongue twister for me. He's going well, though. It's going well. Is he Is he down there? Right, let's, let's see how this goes. It's going to take him a little while to turn the fabrication over. Let's stand and wait. Ooh. Okay, that's a big problem. I thought I was going to have to put this in a better place anyway, but that's, yeah, that's that's kind of annoying. Every time they run across, boom, turns the rock crusher off and reset all of the errands. Okay, okay, but in essence, it's a good idea. Okay, small change of location should help out immensely. I'm a little bit worried about taking this particular tile out here, so every time when this door opens, we'll lose a whole bunch of carbon dioxide, but it's been taking us a while to build up the carbon dioxide stores back down here since a mistake anyway, so it's not it's not the biggest problem, I suppose. Uh, we've got to just deconstruct everything now. Maybe this main corridor up and down here will stop them travelling with all the main wire over here, all the uh, heavy watt wire. If we could somehow get it to wrap over the top and come down this way, I think that would be a better idea. But that, that's, a, that's a long mission that's going to just be burning away in the background, I think. So, once again, a whole bunch of orders set up. Let's move over here. Ah, oh, we've, we're not quite done yet. I, that, that's a shame. I was kind of expecting. Ooh, so we just got built. Okay, this is cool. Let's uh, sweep up everything on the floor. Here seems to be quite a quite a bunch of stuff. It is a waiting rad bolt. Yeah, we we knew this was going to be a thing. We're building the rad bolt generators up here. We generate rad bolts. We send them down here. Of course, there is a bit of a line of sight issue that I am building a small airlock to deal with now. Uh, I say an airlock, but of course, this also opens up to the skies. I don't know whether we can fire rad bolts from, like, through anything. Do, do they go through anything, like glass? Is that a thing? I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know if we will find out, actually. <laughs> like, what? Pneumatic door? Uh, window? I think these are things that I would try. Okay, so these rad bolt generators have been constructed. You can see they are sucking in some of the power from the outside. This guy's giving it some, and so is this. And we want to go down. I don't know why it says south. The, like, how is that a south? South would be a diff, a, either left or right, or forwards or backwards into the screen. Surely, surely. Have a look. We, we, we see some stuff being made already. Ah, that's great. I wonder what happens if it shoot through. We should probably probably bump up some priorities here and see if we can't get this made before this decides to fire. Let's bump this up to 100 as well. <laughs> okay, there's an airlock in place and the way is clear. I really would have liked to have left room for, I don't know, an, air, not an oxygen mask set up here. Maybe we're going to end up moving this power transformer. Maybe we're going to end up moving the power transformer to in that box by the end of the uh, the day. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. We can even put it all the way over here. Have ourselves a little through the floor 
join play. Okay, new power setup. Okay, great. That that's that's cool. Let's uh let's put this at a high priority as well. So no, oh, I don't want to do all of them. I just want to do the constructions. Thank you very much. So that we can rip this out and get some air, uh, gas masks in place. Of course, this also means we can get rid of all this heavy watt wire up here. Ew, get it out of here. The decor boat, uh, decor debuffs. Ugh. Oh well, that's very inconvenient. Ah, if they lose power, which they're likely to, because we've not got a very serious power situation here. Uh, if they lose power, they power, they lose all the rad bolts they've been generating. Okay, okay, maybe we can do something better than that then. Okay, over here I've done a pretty extreme thing of firing up the petroleum generator, but as you can see, uh, this is literally coming from the petrol line that's going to the plastic on Taranu. Uh, but as you can see, it's getting quite hot in here. It is getting very hot in here. So I've asked for a few kilos of steel to be sent through. Let's deconstruct this and see if we can't build a replacement. Same for the carbon skimmer. Does the, the carbon skimmer come in steel varieties? It does. Okay, during a single day, we seem to have made something on order of 12 and 13 rad bolts. I don't think we're going to be able to keep the power going overnight, mainly because I think the petroleum generator is going to melt down. If that manages to carry on running, then I don't think there's too much to steal the heat from us here. The power, sorry. This thing might do it as we're trying to warm the area up. But I think all in all, we'll be okay. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, so we're we're back on Sharubi here. We built this aluminium volcano. I've been noticing for a while that we didn't have much aluminium coming out of it. And I was like, why is this the case? But yeah, of course, it's over pressure. It's super over pressure. Now, how are we going to get the water out of there? The water out of there? I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna have to come back to this one because it's not what we're working on exactly now, and it's not it's not going to explode on us. Not not for a little while anyway. <laughs> Yeah, as unfortunately as predicted, the power ran out. That's not because the petroleum generator wasn't running, though. Oh, it, it is not running. Okay, what happened there? We ran out of... Yeah, we ran out of oil. Mm, uh, not oil, of the other one, petroleum. I, I might be able to fix that, though, as well. I'm, I'm slowly rearranging stuff here so that I can go ahead and put a reservoir in. Okay, a new power generator, and before that gets knocked down, great, a new carbon skimmer as well. Okay, we'll build those out of steel. We need to do something a little bit better than just building them out of more heat resistant materials because there is going to be heat leaking this way, but I think we'll be okay for the moment. Maybe actually build a insulated tile there. Not that I think they can reach it. The reservoir is now in place and we are building up a bit of a stock of petroleum here. It's going pretty well, going pretty well. I've disabled the polymer press as well so that we uh, we get a bit more petroleum going into the tank rather than emptying out that way. It, it, it's... Uh, We've got we've got lots of plastic, not so much here. If we go over to your kill and have a look, uh, we got 44 tons. I th I think we'll be okay with 44 tons of plastic. Uh, the other thing I'm trying to do ever so slowly is to swap out the wires here. You can see that this wire bridge is taking a bit of damage. That's because quite often now all the potential load tends to go over the thousand watts that we are allowed to do here. So all the copper ore that is around, I have sent back to your kill where. Whereupon it is being down here somewhere turned into copper, copper the actual metal, uh, and then it's picked back up and given back to the teleport device to send back here, uh, and we're getting a fairly consistent flow of the new materials to, uh, oh, no, not at the moment, unfortunately, uh, to go through and replace that wire. 100% incubation. Come, come on, guys. Where where are you at? The, these the, they, they've got to be like making a lot of noise. The eggs should be rocking around now. Like there, there should be there should be signs that these eggs are getting ready to pop at some point. I don't I don't even know what the animation looks like. This quickly. Uh, excellent fruit. Thanks. Yeah, we've already talked about how that's probably one of the better ones. Not for here though. Should have given it to Sharubi. Okay, that that's fine. Still waiting for the egg though. The egg is far 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 more important. Oh, it's rocking. Uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Boom. Okay, we, we can't see them. They're behind the shell. We cannot see. There, there they are. One, two. There, there should be a third as well. There should, look, they're already eating it. That's great. Could you guys move over this way? 
that that would be really handy if you just decided that you wanted to. Yeah, I'm gonna make a steel one. Great. Oh, all three of you. That would be good. That would be pretty good. Can we bump this up in priority? Okay, the water's getting pushed down here. No problem. It flashes into steam, comes back up, recondenses. Uh, I really want the majority of these guys to be over this side, not. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Maybe we'll just leave the door open and see if anything happens. Critter starvation, I think not. Okay, they're all on the wrong side of the door at the moment. Erat's here to build. We're going to have to move Erat just for a second. See if we can't postpone the build just a little bit. This this guy, if he could move, that would be great. I'm just going to just gonna keep my... Yes, 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 yes. And then build it. Come on, quick. Oh, got them all. We got them all. We got them all in the... Oh, that's great. Oh, that is that is that is ideal. That is amazing. Now let's try and clean this area up somewhat. Uh, another thing quickly. I've been sat thinking, sure, Ruby, uh, we've, we've got the aluminium volcano that's over pressure. If we just, for instance, grab a liquid bridge. Um, so I need to do this to make sure it actually flows in this direction. But then why not move the water sort of like this that 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 should work out right we're going to be moving some quite hot water around but i think given the fact that we can dilute it at the moment with what's in here it's probably the best time to do so and hopefully and hopefully it won't get overwhelmed Another quick little aside, I turned this up to 200 kilograms because the duplicants only weigh 30, so when they come along and stand on it because they're doing the, the rock crushing, uh, they're, they're light enough not to trigger it. That's that, that's a that's a good fix there if you're, if you're wondering what the trouble was. There you go. Oh man, this fired up for the smallest second. Half the water went up, half of it came down, and we should be doing both cooling and water extraction now. There goes the water down, cools the area down just a little bit, and as well not a great deal but enough all right back to Toronto right 838 degrees it is totally gonna melt at some point I, I really want to see what happens when we melt it well this is kind of exciting 999 degrees or oh, just broken a thousand man this is this is gonna go well this is gonna go really well uh, I've also put down a couple of wires down here I want to get rid of this bit of mathic rock from the other uh, rad bolt generator just in case we can actually get a solid tile being formed somewhere and it won't do it if it's falling into a, a piece like this but I think it will just turn into a, uh, a piece anyway is there a quicker way I mean if we were to just do this what's gonna happen sweep only right yeah Okay, place the ladder to get rid of the mafic rock. That should hopefully make it nice and clear. Let's put that back onto a nine. It is a very important thing, but not the most important thing. Another thing we might do to try and improve the overnight capabilities of the uh, the, the rad bolts. We're, I'm going to build some more rad bolt generators here as we do have a little bit of... That's not the right button. Which, which, which one is it? Shift F4. Okay, Shift F4. I'll, I'll try and remember that. I need to also get rid of that bit of salt there. Uh, we're going to build these down here so they can uh, be cooled by the ambient temperatures in here. Uh, as you can see, we've got a 21 on the go. That should warm it up, but that would be fine. We'll uh, rip this wall out here, maybe. I don't know. We'll... Uh, I feel a little bit sad that I spent all this time putting the, uh, putting the gas masks in and now we're not going to use them. You know, I've, I've never made my own lava before, and I've been sat here watching this for so long that I keep watching all these guys go uh, idle. Of course, the moment I mention it, they're not actually idle. Okay, there's uh, 409. We normally have to go a few degrees over. Oh, no, it just, it just goes. Oh, we got two. Look, we met, met with the copper as well behind it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I'm a little bit, little bit disappointed it didn't flow like lava. That's, uh, oh, that's... Yeah, I'm not not impressed by that. Why why didn't it why didn't it magma? Oh, it is igneous. Oh, okay. So we've we've managed to change our mathic rock into igneous rock. I don't I don't know whether that was something we wanted to do or not, but we did it. Anyway, I have set up a couple of radbolt generators down here. Unfortunately, that melted before I could show you that our uptime was actually 100% for the past couple of days. So we should be able to get this working here. I think we're gonna dig these out. Yeah. Check a Sharubi overnight. Still at 181 kilograms. Okay, as this slowly goes through, we are losing more. What temperature is this up to now? 25. That's not bad. That's not bad, actually. I was expected to find 50. <laughs> 
I'm left wondering whether we can actually use these as heating elements. Maybe make them out of obsidian and then use them at the bottom of an insulated box. That that would be a way to make some lava. Uh, what what temperature would it melt at if we did obsidian? Can, like, can we see on this? Does it tell us? No, unfortunately, unfortunately not. Can we can we place one and have a look? Yeah, look at that. Nearly three thousand degrees for obsidian. Mm. Something to look into at some point. Something to look into at some point. Hmm, we're going to want to look into better systems than this. Ten rad bolts a cycle, nine rad bolts a cycle. Going to take a while to get where we need to go. Though five cycles just fly, bar fly past for me sometimes. It has taken many efforts and many cycles, but finally we've got the Red Bolt Generator up to 46. That's pretty good, out of 50. I have had to do quite a bit of overhaul to make sure this keeps on running. One of the major things that I've done is cut off the supply of the water from the main base so that we can keep the water supply turning. This was actually a bit of an issue, so much so that we're actually leaking water into the vacuum of space now because it was it was just too much. Look, we've got both these lines absolutely full. This... this uh, pool of water is also overflowing we're using all the water for food and also doing it to pump it into the oil well clear up our, our stuff though this is a uh, uh, constantly cycles round situation anyway so it's no problem but yes oh, unreachable food randoms and honza really we, we got some food very close to growing i've had to uh, send some some stuff across to your gill because uh the, the the food's here, very fragile. We kept on running out... Ah, illumination, this needs to get done as well. We kept on running out of food, uh, polluted water over here. So I'm swapping us over to the actual, uh, to the normal water diet. Um, hopefully before people die. Oh, they've got all our gristle berries. We should probably send some of those back. I wish you could say how much you wanted to send through. That, that would definitely be very handy. Now that night time has fallen, I'm slightly worried about this rad bolt generator sat in front of the other one. Um, maybe this is going to blast through. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see what happens here. 48 points. We just got, we just got to wait a little bit longer. I wish there was some sort of countdown for how long until each rad bolt came out. I, uh, I, I want, I want to know. I want to know. Doesn't really give any... Oh, there he goes. Oh, bam. I was about to say, it doesn't really give any indication. So this now has 45 rad bolts. Ooh, we've lost five rad bolts in the distance. Uh, I was looking for my window tiles, but don't worry about... Ooh, hey, don't, don't worry about that. We're going to have a look through and see what piece of material... So, you know what? I was actually looking at it. Let's do it. Window tiles. I want to know whether we can let more radiation through by putting a window tile there. Um, cool. I, I was seeing whether we... So there was a telescope up here. I took that out and to see whether going through the side of the uh, the tile would help. Uh, no, no, turns out not. If I pull up this, uh, it's still 10 rads per second, uh, per cycle. That's uh, okay, fair enough. Okay, new life underway on the original habitat. That's that's beautiful. Ah, oh, that's that's wonderful. Let's get back over to Taranu. Uh, research underway. I, I want to watch us do this before uh, do the material study before we leave though. Okay, that's home luxuries. The comfy bed, the plastic ladder. Maybe we could do doing that around in plastic tile. That's cool. Oh, and end, end of cycle seven one nine. Okay, that, that's fine. I mean, this seems like the perfect place. Oh, oh, no, 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 not those. <laughs> seems like the perfect place for plastic ladders, if you ask me. These are the guys who are making all the plastic after all. Oh, here we go, here we go. Random Random is going to use the material science bay for the first time. Terminal, sorry, the terminal. Uh, we've got some details up there. We've got some spinning going on. There is some definite problem. Magnetism and uh, destruction and oh, there's all sorts of wonderful things going on. But with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time. We're going to go and sort out the growing of food issue on Tyranno over here. And perhaps, and perhaps... Try and send these guys some steel so we can fix this thermal aqua tuna and get our aluminium volcano up and running. It seems to be doing its thing, but it is just not cooling down enough because there is not any circulation going on. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.